Hey guys, Romaning Reaper here. It's about the quick little cinema trip video. So, a little bit, I'm gonna head off to the cinema to go and see Nobody, the brand new action film starring Bob Odenkirk and his first like action hero role. Which, which, that sounded really interesting when I found out about it, and I've been hyped since. Well, the main reason that I'm hyped. For it is because it's directed by Ilya Nyshuler, who's this fantastic Russian musician for a band called Biting Elbows. You should absolutely give them a listen, they're fantastic. But now he's become this really awesome action director as well. He directed Hardcore Henry a few years back, which is such fun. I rewatched it yesterday and it still is a lot of fun. But this is his second film as director and Ever since I found out that he would be directing this like a year and a half ago, I know that long, it can be either be seen as dedicated or sad, depending on <laughs> what way you look at it. But here we are at this moment, I'm finally going to see Nobody, and I cannot wait. So I'm not going to waste too much more time, I'm going to head to the bus and go to the cinema and see Nobody. <laughs> So I said cinema night, ready to watch nobody. This is it. So, I just got back from seeing Nobody. As I stated earlier, I've been waiting a year and a half for this film. Ever since, you know, at the end of 2019, Trying to see what films Ilya Nyshuler made since Hardcore Henry. I stumbled upon this, which would be his second directorial feature. And ever since then, I was hyped, especially knowing that the producers of John Wick were involved. Obviously, the pandemic kind of <laughs> they went a little longer than I anticipated for it. But honestly, that way it was more than worth it. This film was absolutely excellent. This is such fun. Like, it, like, I don't think there'll be a film this fun for the remainder of the year. Like, like, I sat through this film with a big smile on my face. It was extremely entertaining. The first thing to note, of course, is that the producers of John Wick are involved. And it especially shows in the action scenes. There are these long takes, like wide shots, you know, showing you know all the choreography in its glory. And it doesn't shy away from the brutality either. 
Let me just say there are some absolutely brutal kills here. But what sells the action scenes is Bob Odenkirk, who you've probably read was very passionate about getting this made. Like it was all spawned from an idea he had, and you know he really trained and got into shape. And in the fight scenes, it really shows because he just sells Hutch's physicality brilliantly, and his acting throughout when there's not a fight scene is great. It's a very hardened performance. There's some emotional scenes. He gets some funny scenes. Like, like he has so much emotional range in this film. Like, he's not just another John Wick, which I really liked. He's flawed. He's not perfect. He gets his ass beat a lot. And that was really fun to watch. But probably the most fun part to watch was Christopher Lloyd as his dad. I won't spoil it, but <laughs> just know it is glorious. And <laughs> throughout the whole final battle, I just had the biggest smile on my face from <laughs> what I was witnessing. It was such fun, and the fans of a particular football team, I wouldn't say which one, but if you know, you know, we'll get a delight in a particular moment. And talking of that particular moment, the soundtrack is great. There's tons of, like, licensed music, which is used really well in the film. And there's an original score provided by David Buckley, who also did the music for Angel Has Fallen and Unhinged. And it's a fantastic score. Like, it just adds so much to the intensity of the film. Like, like there's low sounding bass notes, and there's, and there's, you know, there's like jazz sounds as well. And it's, it's just fantastic. It just fits the mood of the film perfectly. And the, there's one like negative I have to say about it is the villain. He's fun and all, like he's really flamboyant, like he likes to sing karaoke and dance and wear like like really flashy outfits and he runs a nightclub. But outside of that there's not really much to his character. He just kind of gets angry and kills people, like he doesn't really have the same exploration that Hotch does. But you know, overall, Nobody is just such an absolute blast. And it just cements Ilya Nyshuller as an action filmmaker to watch. And a thing of note here, there's an extra scene during the credits. We're not going to spoil what is in this scene, but... Just know there's something to stay for. <laughs> and all I can say is, <laughs> you're rewarded. So overall, I'm going to give Nobody a 9 out of 10. Just for the other big fat smile that was on my face watching this film. It was such fun to watch. And I highly recommend you see it. I highly recommend trying to get out to the cinema to see it. Just because the added oomph that the cinema speakers bring to this film is incredible. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Nobody. Let me know down in the comments. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Are you planning to see it? What did you think of Bob Odenkirk as an action hero? Would you like to see more of him in this type of film? Let me know all that down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. <laughs>